could do with a merchant. It's a shame we murdered the last one. I feel yeah. like you always need a merchant. That, that's why I'm so looking forward to Baldur's Gate, because I assume there's just Bro, we're six playing, billion we're playing merchants. Gate right now. Fact, I'm going to pretty quickly teleport to a merchant. Uh, uh, I my screen just hanging. went black. Mine as well? Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, it took okay. you with me? What? Why? When does that ever happen? Did you initiate? Oh, no, this is the campsite. Why did we go to the campsite? Uh, we are in our long rest. Yeah, someone... Oh, what? What? Guess yeah. we're doing the long rest now. <laughs> we also still haven't restarted the game to see if that's going to fix well. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's even any point in doing it, but... Going straight um... to bed, or...? Do you not want to talk to both Lazel and Chart first? I can do. Who's talking to Lazel? I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it, but if you want to, then oh. we can flip a dice. Or I flip mean, a dice or... we know oh. both of us won't mind doing it. <laughs> we can, we, we okay. can, we can let, let me rephrase that. Everyone. I would like to do it, but if you also yeah. want to do it, which I'm yeah, fine I would with, do you want to flip like the coin again, it. or would you... We'll flip or, the coin again, yeah. Or I'm happy to give you this one since I had the last two. While you guys do this, I'm gonna flip the coin. Okay. Yep. I appreciate the offer, but uh, 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 let's stick to the coin. Did you see what just happened on camera? I did not. I flipped the coin. It landed in my hand. It bounced out of my hand. Hit me in the lip, and then I caught it with my other hand. Ha! Ah. Meanwhile, just kind of like looking like I've just been like hit in the face or something. Cause I have. If, if it's a twenty, then you cheated by doing that, and you're rolling it, uh, and you're flipping it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. no, I'll take that bet. No, 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 Do you want me to flip it again anyways? Is it, what is it? Every single time. Nah, no, man, that's legit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's legit. The yeah, that. um, I'm just going to turn my light on real quick as well. Uh, she's down here. Down the bottom, isn't she? Yeah. This is not going to go well. Um... Yeah, just remember. Yeah. I mean, no, 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 yeah. Chris, don't just remember. Don't mention the time your both of us got frightened at the same time and dropped our weapons and ran away. Like I said, man, we, we were just turtle shelling. It's, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm kind of a tank. You know, we do that shit all the time. Yeah, and besides, I, I, in, in my memory, it was the Dragonborn who dropped his weapon and ran away. Hey, Ken. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, and then I'm mean, also in my memory. I remember his ass hitting the ground because he got it kicked, really hard. Hey Ken. Oh hey Bobby. I mean what? Uh, hey hey Gor. Is your sword okay again? I've, I mean you, you dropped it like two or three times last combat. Is it okay? Yeah, I mean well we we did drop our weapons, but that was to just furiously beat the shit. Out of those wolves with our bare fists. Yeah, and besides, and, and that, that other time you were talking about, I think you what you meant is when I dropped that sick beat, this one here. Um. Yeah. Wait, but but, but you're, we're also screaming and we're running out the door. No, 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 that was the hysterical laughter from my amulet. Right. All right. Speaking of which. <laughs> thou shalt return to me. <laughs> thou shalt have my blessing. Hey Ken, what's up? I love this shirt, man. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for giving it to me. You're welcome, man. I'm gonna try and examine this amulet again because it keeps on letting me do it. And I still haven't succeeded, so there is no harm in me trying to do this. Sure, I succeeded. Oh. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Oh, okay. I've got new shit to do with this amulet. Uh, just while we were waiting, I decided to randomly investigate it since I still hadn't succeeded that, and now I can do a religion roll on that. Do it. DC ten again. A really, a really, really weird fingernails, man. They're just gory, man. So big. Man, don't talk to me about big hand things when. Uh... <laughs> Fucking the Dragon Age uh, origins. You find no meaning in it. I, never, I don't recall what that's like. Re look at any uh, shots of it. It is so 
The hands are huge. Chuckle coming on, <laughs> but it soon fades. Hey, Alex. All right. I wonder hey, whether that's uh, like Lafanda because like symbol of the sun, and he did trigger in the Lafanda oh. temple. Thank you. Conversation. Like it's most uh, loyal, Alex, sir. look in Baldi's case. You have to listen to that music constantly. Is everyone in? Oh man. I proceed to tell tell Lazel about what happened inside the artifact. A hundred thousand daggers <clears throat> pierce your brain as Lazel's anger rises. Chuck. <laughs> Its lies ring so loudly, I hear them screeching from your head to mine. There is no secret. There is no plot. Tell me you don't trust it. Tell me you reject this abomination inside. <laughs> I also like how all of these options are like, yeah, your goddess is kind of ass. <laughs> I mean, one of them isn't. Four oh, is... yeah, four. Yeah, four. Yeah, you're right. I'm just saying, if I scored the uh, this conversation with the with the coin, I would not have sent in this instance. I would not no. have gone with number four. Yeah. For the first time ever. Ken would not I think have that would have been the, been the good option. I believe it. The Zaithsk could have killed us, but this entity intervened. The Zaithsk was sabotaged. Silence follows, as loud as thunder, as heavy as lead. I will prove to the Undying Regent that my faith is steadier than even the throne of skulls that she sits upon. I will endure this test, and she will reward me. Then you will understand. You will see truth. I won't let my faith, my life, come to nothing. Anyone so, uh, look? okay. What are you? What are you doing after this? You wanna? You wanna grab a drink? Oh, that was it. Was it just the end? <laughs> All right. Sharks time. Huh? I, I talked to her already. She, oh. she said no. one little uh, like initial what? conversation. Which Did I like, throw up? Um, no. That we uh, talked to the the big Gathyanki evil. Did you throw up? And yeah. live to tell the tale. So she's impressed. Right back. With our work, basically, it was less directed towards. No, me. I didn't. Had Kenneth, obviously, question. yes, she is very impressed with me. Um, um, just gonna quickly whiz through Lazar's thing just so I'm up to the speed of Tommy. Mm -hmm. yep. Tell me you don't trust it. Tell me you reject this. The safe. I will. Literally went with the exact same dialogue options with you because it's what I would have done. So. Anyone want to talk to Will? He's got something to say. <laughs> Will can shut the fuck up. <laughs> My first tour of the Get Yankee. We do have new stuff. Memorable. Did we? Certain. Yeah. But the service left nope. something oh, to be done. One designed. line, though. Yeah. Yeah. I hate Will. You only hate him because he's bugged. <laughs> I hate Gail. Don't make the penis go. <laughs> yeah, oh, in my shot as well, the, the leaf wasn't very good at... Like, it still looked very, very graphic. <laughs> but, <laughs> he's just um... naked. Has our queen sent a knight to slay me with his own blade? Such informality, child. Oh, it's him. That's the boss guy. Just mm -hmm. still Kithrak not command your respect. Your blade speaks for you, Kithrak. You've come for blood. Child of Gith, I've not come to kill you. I've come to aid you. Is Lizelle going to turn on us? Him. I think, though. Skakek Kia Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother I'm so confused. You to listen. <laughs> He's just standing there. Go on. <laughs> Let her show us her loyalties. Yeah. Let's yeah. vote too. Speak. My ear is yours. Thanks, bro. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. What is that? It, 
lies the, the artifact that we have. Oh. And I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Lacket's demise. Skaken. I should run you through for suggesting it. Every time it cuts back please to naked. Every time. <laughs> please put it. And like, the, the, the dialogue options are on penis height. Mm -hmm. That is not helping. Your stomach looks like a leather sofa. <laughs> <laughs> but like a lumpy one. Yeah. It doesn't look... It, it looks like steroid abs. It doesn't look like he's built them naturally. <laughs> I mean, I can't see his penis because it's hidden behind a fig leaf. But f the fig leaf is not particularly big. So it absolutely fits <laughs> with my view. No, no, no. If, you, I, if you have been taking steroids because it's a very yeah. small leaf. There's, the the abs aren't even symmetrical. You're like one of them fucking plinket things where you slot the cup like the puck in and then it just kind of goes all over. Um Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who that is? If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlacket's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the Prism went missing, I feared the worst. This guy has a dragon. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a tap room called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlacketh slaves no longer. What are they, Sith? Slaves are still Kithrak. <laughs> the Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel. Every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness. He flood me with this... this heresy. <laughs> I will hear no more of it. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to take Lizelle's back on this one. That's fine. Do what you think. I you wouldn't either. Yeah. I mean, it, like, literally, if the game gave me the opportunity to block her sword, I would. Mm. Yeah. Vlakith's led you astray. I believe him, and so should you. The whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Damn, Blaze is actually becoming cool. I can't believe it. Blaze you probably need someone to comfort you at this time. Blaze I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. That is cool. This guy is the first I gif I like. Yeah, yeah. Gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Oh, we did. Oh. Now to <laughs> Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. So we have this fucking radar thing. Yeah. I just want to point out... Uh... When he gave the like cyanide detector 
It's like Alex's character. Yeah, but Alex naked <laughs> went. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't do the up bit, but he probably did the up bit. Did you just get that achievement? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Good luck, it says. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Someone in camp wishes oh, to speak to us. Who? It's probably Will again. But... It's pro or no, Lazal, Lazal, but Lazal, 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 yeah, yeah. Wait, everyone else is also good. The coin flip is the coin flip, and every single time it's landed on that one, so I feel like it's gonna land on that one again. I have a feeling it's gonna be a 20 this time. You're joking. <laughs> it's a one. Alright then. <laughs> Go oh. to rest, my voice oh, for you. To Alex. Something to ask. It might be me. Yeah. Hold on. Lucky. No. Oh, oh no. She's talking to me. Oh, okay. Only in Fuck you. you God. Rizzling. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol. And forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith. And be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true. If Ascension Can't is wait alive, to kill my first dragon. If all tadpole man. purification oh. is a fairy tale. Then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lazelle is becoming slightly more cool. Yeah. Vos called Vlakith a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? I'd never thought Vlakith a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Vos is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock. Bread to be harvested and devoured. Every Yankee is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. Let me call her a destroyer. No! I wanna... I wanna, you know, compliment her right now. She needs it, she needs a morale boost. Tommy, get the what? violin out. Smallest violin. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> what does Ascension entail, exactly? Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose. To train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. What have you done? Because you had a stuffed one. We speak the right of ascension. And a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith in Tunarath, city of death. We are honored with an eternal home in the astral. Celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. Who was the one in the prison, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. That's why I thought it was The but... dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. What if the one in the prism is Orpheus, and like canonically they're supposed to be a gift Yankee, but on our playthrough they're just a gnome? It, it yep. very well oh, yeah. could be. I mean, it definitely isn't an adventurer like they said. No, no, no. Voss just said that he was searching for it for eons, so... I mean, she like... could be an adventurer from like eons ago, but... Yeah, but she said that she was on that ship. She said uh, she was on got... a elephant ship. I swear I... she said she was on the same ship as us. No, she even she... showed a cutscene of her in front of our pod on the ship. Did it? When did that happen? I don't know about like that. Like a while ago now. 
Is that another early these... access seduction thing that you're remembering? No, no, definitely not. That definitely was in this playthrough. It was like one of the, like it might have been the second interaction, maybe. Okay. It's, it's when she first tells us that she's an adventurer. She That's says. I, I remember her. Shit. I remember seeing her on the beach saving us from the fall. Yes. But I don't that remember her ever being in front of the pot. But I, no, I never had that. Either it glitched out for us, which is entirely possible, or I just don't remember it, and I haven't gone to that part with editing the wads, so... Yeah, I mean, we had that cutscene that uh, I think it was you, Pete, and Alex didn't get, but me and Sam have got of my character just randomly talking. Yeah. True. So, I remember that. That's happened. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, um, in terms of the words that she has said, because again, like that could just be her being on the ship to try and save us or whatever she has said that she's an adventurer like us and she also was on a uh mind flayer ship and got a tadpole on her head i don't think she's ever explicitly said i was on the same ship as you and i escaped with you i think she did but i guess we'll we won't know unless it's brought up again yeah either way shall i mention about what if the claims are wrong because i don't nah, think they are nah, nah. yeah let's move on but... yes i'd like time to think We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesses Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Blackett's eyes are upon us. Don't worry, I'm used to having my eyes set on Gifyanki. One of the two. Cracking a cold one was totally just canon. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm used to keeping my eyes peeled on Gifyanki. One of the two. I have a feeling that. The artifact itself is kind of doesn't even hold that much power. It's just a hiding spot for that person, whoever that is. Yeah. And the person is who Vlacketh actually wants, not the artifact. Did you not I want mean, to talk to her about Kifras yeah. Voss? I'll see what she says. It's probably just what you've had though. Yeah, but it still might bring you up to speed with True. Vlacketh cost seven crath crash head. Only in Vlacketh may we find light. These were the first yeah, words the I ever read. You can speak through that then. I'm gonna go grab a drink while he does that. Mm -hmm. To think we haven't even been to Baldur's Gate yet. Bro, I, I think I might tear up a little bit as soon as I see the city. That's I'm gonna be so... a special moment. I am like... I, I genuinely cannot put into words how excited I am to just see the wall. Yeah. I am... So fucking excited. Oh yeah, that's God. gonna be crazy. Yeah. I have a feeling it's not gonna be because I assume it's an act two. I hope, maybe. I feel like we're close. Um But I I, I doubt it's gonna be today. What's happening? We just about that. That's we crazy that we haven't been to Baldur's, Gate, Baldur's Gate, Gate yet. I Baldur's Gate could be act three. I don't even know how many acts there are in the game. I think we assume three because free act structure, but like I would assume four. Four is also possible. I mean, Divinity at four. But like, something Maybe. like, I guess Red Dead's technically chapters, but Red Dead's got like seven, so like... I assume one act is in hell. I really hope that we go to some other planes. That would be really, really cool. Like, obviously, technically, you're in Avernus at the beginning, but... Um, like, we've had so much demon stuff already with... Technically, it's own plane. Wait, who doesn't yeah. want to rest? So, I, I, I can see it's going to hell. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I oh, hell we'll, is we'll Avernus, definitely but... be going to Avernus because we have soul coins. They wouldn't just give soul mm. coins if we wouldn't be able to spend them for anything. But... And and I chatted to a devil who yeah. offered me yeah. a deal. But, so that's kind of and, that's gonna come. And up kind again. of teleported you to Avernus before we all go to bed. Everyone yeah. come here. It's the first time I've noticed this. I'm pretty sure this bench can fit all four of us at the same time. <laughs> this is actually quite sweet. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> Fucking pants on before you come Absolutely sit with us. Absolutely not. Oh no. When <laughs> it's a screenshot moment. Yeah, but it's gonna be have, have to be. I uh, no, I can take a screenshot actually. Can you sit down with us, Alex? No. What? Can you not? What? No. Nope. Totally looks like there's enough room. That's it bullshit. Says can't get here. Wait, Wait can, can you try sit? around the other side? Yeah. Can you... Can you it says can't get there. On the tree. Why won't you let us sit? Okay, but... Oh, there we go. Yeah, and then I guess the Samo can, but probably not. Okay. I think I gotta... Because from behind it's impossible. Yeah. Uh, because of the fucking... Oh, wait. Yeah. On the wood... Wait, wait. 
You got you know, just that. No. All right, you sit down. Got a better idea. Oh yeah. Wait, am I not the tallest? Should I not do it? No, no, no you sit down. All right. No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Jesus, your arms are going for each other. Alex. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. They are the blessed boys. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Alright, I got a bunch of screenshots. Let's go to bed. Nice. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to continue! Well, you're gonna have to wait until right now. Alright, we continue. Hell yeah! Uh, One oh. more dark herd shit, man. People. You had a little dark urge with something earlier where there was like a oh where you met the god but, I guess it wasn't dark urge yeah. option but it was like a dark urge unique thing with uh, Lacketh. Uh, I get some cool shit. Man, I really hope I I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a dark urge thing per act as well. Because there was only one like act one. Like one big one, you mean? Yeah, in like terms one... of like seeing the butler again. Oh yeah, maybe. Um. Man, well, I really no, hope... I'd say there were two big things. Killing the bard and the butler. Well, the butler was as a reaction to killing the bard, though. Well, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, it's true. Um, I really hope that every single time um, we get to see, like, a painting or a statue of Lacketh, I can, I can just uh, vandalize it. I want <laughs> that, that to become be a running funny. thing. That would be very, very funny. Again, like, we don't know because we didn't try and go through that door before. <laughs> interactive with the painting but part of me really hopes that there was no like actual gameplay mechanic to doing it and it was just for the shits and giggles like it did distract that guy but i really hope you didn't need to i think the person that was cleaning was literally just walking up and down the corridor anyway yeah maybe so he would have but... it didn't do anything really but maybe he would have shouted at us if we tried to go through a door when he saw it sort of thing but in my sure. head canon, it was just for the shits and giggles because yeah. Larry and also are, are, have done that sort of humor in other stuff. Oh, before. absolutely! So like, it absolutely. it absolutely could be just shits and giggles. I completely believe it was shits and giggles, especially in such a serious place where everyone's. What the fuck? Hello? So you did oh, get yeah. teleported with me. Maybe it's because we went into an Act One area yeah. that you had to long I think rest that's in between. Maybe it. What it is. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, we know. Then I'll talk to this other trader chick, I guess. Yeah, we might as well trade some stuff while we're here anyways. Yeah. Well, Who knows we when we'll see the next one. Oh, we, didn't, we didn't do this bit uh, last time. No, okay. this is new. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. There's a, there's a plague. What? Alrighty then. You know what this might be, since we're kind of going down? Oh, there's a person. A weary traveler. This person looks cool. Oh, it's Gandalf. It's a wizard. Oh, I like him. Stay thy course. May I inquire if perchance you retain among your traveling companions oh. Oh. a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? Is he a son or something? Real quick, I think this character might be like a legacy Baldur's Gate character as well. Like I think. Oh, that's cool. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I've like I've seen a little bit of like just screenshots of this guy, and like he's supposedly like a a, a character that Larian confirmed was in the game quite a bit before the game came out, which makes it sound like it's either someone from uh, Forgotten Realms lore or from like previous Baldur's Gate lore, which I guess is the same thing. But he looks like a kind of character. He looks like the classical wizard dude. Yeah, I, I know. I know for a fact there is a character in this game who is like a major character from either Baldur's Gate One or Baldur's Gate Two. Who oh yeah, I this. know of two. Yeah, I know of so two. this is possibly a similar thing. Yes. Yeah. May I inquire who's inquiring? Should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you, well, you may safely classify Gale and I as friends. I love the way Should he speaks. Should it be the nature yeah. of your present interlocutor that you desire to? Drag from the dark and unknown, and I should be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster Ormar. Now, if this answer satisfies you, 
Let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision. But settle on your knowledge. This guy really is Gandalf. I seek. You are absolutely friends with Gale. <laughs> Uh, he is from Forgotten Realms lore. Right. I do know Gale, yes. He's on our camp at the moment. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Bleh. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? What are we doing? Are we going with him more? I mean, yeah. might as well. <laughs> It would be my pleasure. And I would confirm it to be so. Please. After you. Please be a vendor. I want to buy a cool fucking wizard stick. What, what happened? Oh. Where did you go? Guess we have to go to camp. Yeah, oh. that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> go to camp. You guys are out if I talk to them, seeing as I've been yeah, talking yeah, to Gale? So we're... Yeah, we're in here now, so. Hey. We're the person who talked to Gale anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's your stuff anyway. I so. thanks. For your excellent guy. Or maybe he stays in our camp now. Ah, and yonder I spy the op Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. Country How road? so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. <coughs> she sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a Ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. <laughs> I love this man so much. Uh, so I just looked it up in terms of like how... He's related to the law. He's appeared in several source books from like across D&D's history. He was created by the creator of Forgotten Realms and has appeared in several novels set within the Forgotten Realms world, created, uh, written by that same author. So he's like oh, okay. deep Forgotten Realms. Like, I would say a similar level to like Drizzt, who I'm assuming you guys know who Drizzt is. I don't know who that is. Uh, he's like a super famous drow hero from Forgotten Realms who appears in a bunch of D&D novels, basically. Right. Oh, I okay. could also be in this game. It wouldn't surprise me, but anyways. Yes, Gale. Where is your decorum? Oh, for the love <laughs> Fine, fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Graver matters are at hand. Plenty to digest, after all. Good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Elminster. Uh, right. <laughs> um, you see, I am... Oh, forgot the boys in the toilet. Well, that is to say, Gail, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, for swearing. You're right there, little man. Frills that decorate my speech. My head can as he's talking to Alex just now. Of Mistra, the message and the charge I bring you are hers. One sec. I'm gonna wipe an ass in between. You, you hold that thought, old man. <laughs> oh, Scratch took a shit again. No, my <laughs> head can it's crawl. He's wiping me ass off. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> Crawl's biceps are too too big for him to get back there. So <laughs> Crawl's just sitting next to the old man taking a shit on the floor, right next to him. I mean, what, what else would you do in camp in the medieval ages? Yeah, he's just taking a dump on his shoes. I mean, I maybe wouldn't do that, but... 
You guys this guy have is no just... idea how hard it is to catch a hot half fork and then wipe his ass. First, it starts with wearing no trousers. Now the camp's a mess. Elminster, sorry. Um. Hmm. You were sent here as an actual divine messenger. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Just to be clear, is the Mr. thing he did wrong fucking the god? Forgiveness? She would consider... Huh? What she considers to be forgiveness. I'm just trying to work out what Gale did wrong. Was it fucking the god? Of the misadventures that have befallen you both. Huh? No, he, um, oh, I'll tell you a sec. With the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Oh, it's it's the, like, magic orb thing. Yeah, so... But it's, but, um, it's, but it's also, just to clarify with the old man, is it also that Gale was fucking a goddess? Like, how do, how do you feel about that, Elminster? That Gale's fucking a goddess? Just like, well, we, I think, I think we, he approves. I mean, like, he he's wishes. Like, Mama. He wishes. <laughs> can, yeah. we, can we burrow down onto that subject in particular? But do you remember yeah, what Gale actually did? Yeah. 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 Hmm. I don't know this why, but your stitching on your armor keeps on like fading in and out for me, so it kind of looks like he's got LEDs and they're like lighting up and then they're going. <laughs> yeah, I kind of see that too. It's um Razor Mithril Gear. Nice. Yeah. Not sponsored. Well, it could be. Could be. Um, if the goddess herself is aware, I wouldn't say notice of divine intervention. The very purpose nice. of my presence. Oh, wait, there. In Love a detection. roundabout sort of way. We're not sponsored, right? You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens... The gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Is that Baby Yoda? Not too ugly. Made by my friend. And also, yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's uh, Din Grogu now. Yeah. Gale alone? How so? The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Oh, Instead, he's not eating magic. You will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will interesting at will what did you do this could be help or hindrance we shall have to see you must find the heart of the absolute whatever that may be and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world <laughs> what a line. <laughs> oh, I want it so bad. I've set my piece. You take it as a joke, right? He he know I'm joking. Surely. I feel like this is the first game since like Fallout New Vegas where so many of the dialogue options are just intrusive mm. thoughts. Mm. <laughs> But I still haven't seen a line as good as Do you come in peace? Pizza. Fucking phenomenal. <laughs> is that a, what, what game is that? New Vegas. It's not the complete, it's like, uh, you, oh, that's it. What do you stand for? Peace or war? Pizza. And you can only say it if your intelligence is like one. 
fucking oh i love I, that I, game i really wonder actually whether this game has stuff like that as well like if your intelligence is really mm. low do you get different dialogue options or if your charisma is really fun, high because like... obviously yeah. there's like the roles and whatever but yeah say what you will but you can't force mm. no we'll be rid of both the absolute and gale in one fell swoop win-win Oh, he didn't find it. Oh no, that's a Bruce. I will not have you sully this moment of most sorrowful import with ill-considered levity. So he did take it as a joke. He just didn't find it funny. If ever Gallo's humor were appropriate, this is its grim smiling. He at least realized it was humor. Yeah. Why did he disapprove? Because he's an old man, yes, my friend. Fucking boomer. But such is Mitra's will. <laughs> he does look Yours a must be the sacrifice that will undo what? the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you Hold on. will be redeemed. Such is Mistress' promise. Bro. That I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My it is done. She got problems. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this. Strangest of journeys. Yeah, so he'll just stay in campus, stay level one. <laughs> I got him. I'm just saying this, like, if I could, I'd have both. But if I can't have Lazel, second choice. Him? Oh, Mister. He's been around a long time. You know, he knows some wild shit in the sack. Oh, I'm sure. He like, you know, you know how we saw the. uh the uh kobold sutra yeah you might he, want to he, try out some of that he, stuff. he probably knows every species of sutra he's probably written that <laughs> <laughs> he was probably there fucking the kobolds at the time yeah <laughs> he was the source material oh well, actually it. actually that's that's option number four is it, hey, were you the one sucking and fucking the kobolds <laughs> <laughs> Right. You just teleports away. Uh, um, mm, mm. I, about that. Um, bye. Mr. I need to be back. Oh, yeah. I, I shall be. Yeah. I, I, I should go. <laughs> On my honor, it okay. shall be done. That's, uh... On my honor. It's a scratch I'm in the sure background. Yeah, I can say the same. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas. So too, the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself, even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell. What does will always have to do with it? Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. He's gone. Yeah, I've got to talk to him more. I've just realized something. Mm. I like a tiefling version of Gale. Yeah, a little bit. I've also just realized something. A Starion's wearing mm. a different camp outfit. Is he? He's no longer just wearing the uh, the white shirt. He's oh, now yeah. wearing the. I honestly, early I thought I wonder whether Lazel was wearing a different outfit as well because I thought she had like a different belt on. She's now wearing her armor. Oh, it's because we're here during day. We're not resting. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, Never mind, I'm being dumb. <laughs> also, supposedly, Lazel right, has something to say as well when when we're done. We care. An audience with El. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances, but those are hard to come by these days.
<laughs> An old man with a craving for cheese. Hardly the great wizard of legend. A wizard doesn't reach Elminster's age without enjoying their home comforts. Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. And it's a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Just realize as well, his like marking has actually permanently changed now. He didn't have the circle before at the bottom. Oh, I think he did. No, it literally got lit up when uh, you were AFK in Chester, but oh, right. when he got given the like blessing, it like, cool. gave him a bright white circle, but now it's there permanently. You're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, One second. close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. I feel like as well, Gale's probably like one of the most symp sympathetic characters, just because you can, you can totally understand just like wanting to fuck a goddess. And then yeah, and he her. just wanted to impress her, like, you know, the woman he loves. He yeah. wanted to make her whole again. Yeah, and then get in that hole. Yes, again. Yeah. <laughs> the other hole this time. There's surely oh. another way. Wait, wait, the salmon's not AFK. Hmm? Oh. oh, he's just he noticed. Just he did say, he's just going oh. back. Sorry about that. Sorry. There's surely another way. There was. I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. I'll make sure we find it, Gale. I promise. I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the Absolute and stop its beating. He basically said that exact same line just before it. Yeah. yeah. Right, should we try, okay, we can just... should we try Will? He definitely has something to say, guys. <laughs> Go ahead. I <laughs> keep forgetting Alex is naked. Brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more. Listen. I might invoke the triad from time to time. Appeal to hell. Invoke the triad? Faith. Not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man Bunch to of gangsters with Uzis death, coming. Among countless others, to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself. In the ones that most matter to you. Energy. Big bomb be damned. Mm. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the Absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. Hoorah! He'll come to see that. And Abreus. Man, I love Will. Abreus is there too. Damn it, Ken. <laughs> Do we want to talk to everyone just real quick? Because we haven't talked to everyone in a while, so... Yeah. I see Halson checking me out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew you wanted to fuck the bear, man. <laughs> go, go talk to Helson, then. No, I'm good. <laughs> Do it. We'll see. I just realized you've still got the shoes on as well. Well, yeah, yeah I gotta, I gotta leave my loafers on. It's cold out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get those fucking asymmetrical abs away from me. <laughs> you, 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 know you think you are, Samo? You know what? Sorry? Hey, what? hey, Alec, uh, 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 Tommy, let me help you out, bud. Mm. Oh, Ow. it splashed on me. <laughs> it's bloody daytime, boy! 
<laughs> okay, he's not going to heal that back up. I was, I was hoping it wouldn't do a lot of damage. What did you do? What did you do to him? I threw an invisibility potion on him. God damn! Ow! Why? Oh what do you mean God. why? <laughs> I tried to turn you invisible and you cheated. You couldn't even see me. My senses are just that good. Now you made my bush red again, you bastard. I'm pretty sure you made your bush red again, bud. Right, we're not taking a long rest then. Let's just... Nope, I live in camp. Bye-bye, nerds. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious, though. I like, threw a <laughs> invisibility potion on you thinking it turned you invisible so Tommy didn't have to look at your, uh, your dick. And then... Uh, you gonna have to hit the button, Tom, instead of doing the bedroll. Oh, right, yeah. And, uh, it splashed and turned me invisible instead. Um, yeah. You got the dying? potion, he got the fucking glass. It, how much damage that did, though? Holy shit. Like, 17 that's, damage. That's, like, oh. good damage for me using my blades, like... Uh, Shadow Cursed Lance are ahead. Uh, you wanna go the other way first? <laughs> yeah, let's go the other way first. And you are. No, no. Take. That took a quick second. Um, do the cantrance. Do we have to go this way then? I think so. If you look at this the map, is only other place sure it could be is, is like here, but I don't remember seeing any way there. But like that kind of looks like. Oh, oh that's, no, that's the broken bridge. bridge. Yeah. Okay. That's the broken bridge. Broken bridge, and then temple there with no option. So yeah, it is this way. Yeah, because it's just a mountain pass. This isn't like that big of an area, I don't think. Also, uh, Samo, did you say Kentrance? Yeah, he wants yep. me to jump down the stairs. My man. <laughs> Do you want me to actually jump down the stairs? I'll take damage, but not a lot. Do it. This one is for the boys. Hell yeah, that was <laughs> worth it. Also, for you who haven't seen the movie yet, Samo, that was a reference to the Barbie soundtrack. Was it? Yeah. I realized, by the way, the Barbie soundtrack features two artists who also did James Bond themes for the Daniel Craig era. <laughs> Billy Eilish. It, yeah, it's got Billy Eilish and it's got oh, Sam really? Smith. Oh. oh, damn. Who, Sam Smith, no offense to him, did the worst of the Daniel Craig theme tunes. Uh, Agreed. Mostly because it's not even that bad of a theme tune, but mostly because fucking. Um, I'm blanking on their name. Radiohead did a fucking phenomenal theme tune for Spectre, and the producers of James Bond went, nah, it's not the right vibe, we want something more, uh... I was literally down. listening to that I last night. I actually really like Sam Smith. Oh, we oh, just finished Act 1. Like That's supposedly the end of Act 1, okay. <laughs> oh, exciting! Next time on Baldur's Gate 3. We were told to expect you. Then pluck a tune, and our guide will come scuttling. Gladly. Fine, you can have my liar. I did take like a tune. So. I think this oh, is the God. one screenshot on. I've seen about this game. Hold on. You can give yourself advantage with pharmaturgy. Yeah. Oh, I'm a rock star. <laughs> All right. I always knew it, Mom. All right. I think this back. might be the one character I know in this game. Who's gonna come now? That I've seen before. I think, maybe. Oh, you don't play anything? Playing nothing. Because it's a yeah, guitar, man. Entry, I guess it's glitched or something. You are that good at playing. You don't even need an <laughs> instrument. Eh, liar.